Good day, good day folks. I'm going to look at question 7 in the Free State Province. It's a 2023 trial um, examination. This is an electrostatics. Now it says a three-point charges Q1 and Q2 and Q3 are arranged in the space as shown in the diagram below. Right? Now it says the magnitude of Q1 and Q3 are unknown and the charge on Q2 is 4, it's positive 4 nanocoulomb. And these two, the charges are unknown, right? It says the magnitude of Q3 is 3 times bigger than of Q1. It says magnitude of Q3, it's 3 times bigger of Q1, right? It says the distance between Q1 and Q3 is 15 millimeters. You have to convert that into meters. And the dis and between Q1 and Q3 is 20 millimeters. We have to convert that as well into meters. Now it says that the, the Q2 experience uh, a net electrostatic force um, of 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 um, negative 4 at a direction of of 59.3 um, with the horizontal the net force in the diagram below shown is an electrostatic force that Q1 and Q2 exact on Q3 guys we're given this diagram here we're given this diagram here, so we're given uh, the net charge that is experienced by Q2 um, due to Q3 and Q1. So we're given the net force there. Normally in this question, the basic of this question, that's when we calculate the net force, but we're given the net force and its direction there. So from this diagram, we're given a net force. So if we can draw the force of Q1 on Q2, it will be in this direction uh, to the left this is the force of what of q1 on q3 so uh, the force between these two right so it will be to the left that's horizontal force why it's to the left and then i'm going to show you just a bit and then the force of q1 and of Q3 on Q2, it's going to be, um, it's going to be upwards, right? So this is the force of Q3 uh, on uh, Q2, right? So guys, um, just look at this. If you have, have drawn this before, these two, let's say I've drawn this before. Um, no, it doesn't. I've drawn this force before and then I'll draw this one consecutively and then your resultant will start from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. That's why I've drawn that and that's their direction. Alternatively, you uh, you can draw this, the force of, of, of Q, which is the vertical one, which is you can draw it in that direction. This is the force of Q3 on Q2. Two, right you can draw it in that way and uh, this will be um, okay whatever let's leave that one guys now 7.1.1 it says the state coulomb's law in words guys i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste time on that check the exam guideline in 7.1.2 it says in which direction does q2 exact a force on q1 and in which direction does the uh, force of Q uh, in which direction does Q2 exert a force in Q1 and Q3 right guys these forces that you have in this diagram the upward force is a force of Q3 on Q2 it's upwards but the force of Q Q3 on Q on Q2 it's upwards so that means the force of the force of 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 Q2 on Q3 it's going to be in opposite direction the exact force in opposite direction so it's going to be downwards right it's going to be downwards and then the force of Q1 on Q2 it's going to the left that means the force of Q2 on q1 it's going to be to the right 
right it's opposite it's going to be an opposite of these ones it's up and left so it's going to be opposite of that right 7.1.3 it says calculated the magnitude of q1 and q3 remember we were not given the q1 and q3 we we're only given q2 now from this guys if we're given um, the resultant force there and we're given an angle that means we can calculate the vertical one and the horizontal one the the horizontal forces there so in order to what is going to help us in order to get the charges there is to calculate the vertical force so the vertical force there will say use the formula that says f y is equal to f sine theta what is the f y in this case our f y is the force of q3 on q2 so it's a force of q3 on q2 and then the f is going to be the f net and then sine theta right so our f net what is our f net we're given the f net there it's 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 sine what is the what is the angle there it's 59.3 so we're going to use 59.3 degrees and then if you punch that in the calculator 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 times sine 59.3 the answer there is is a 5.176 times 10 to the power negative 4 newtons that's the, the, the this is the magnitude of this force it's going way upwards so how is this is going to help us now we get to the force there so we can take this force and go and calculate now um, that means it's an electrostatic force between the two so we'll say F Q3 on Q2 is equal to K Q what? Q3 times Q2 over R squared. And then, um, what is our K? It's 9 times 10 to the power 9. And the Q3, it's an unknown. Q3. The Q, um, no. Q3. Okay, guys. Um, in this one, what I can do before I go to this one, let me go and calculate the force of what? The force of um, the force of. Um, I should have started with that one. The force of Q1 on the force of Q1 on Q2, um, which is is going to be the horizontal one. Do you see? the horizontal one so I should have started with that one instead of this one but it's not wrong so I'll say um, I will use since it's a horizontal it's going to be F net um, cos theta from the formula that says Fx is equal to F cos theta so it's a horizontal one so the magnitude of f net is 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 cos 59.3 59.3 so it's 6.02 times 10 to the power negative 4 times cos 59.3 so the answer there it's going to be 3.073 3 times 10 to the power negative 4 newtons and the direction is going to the left this one Right, so having that, so we can calculate the electrostatic force now. Um, we can calculate the charge using the electrostatic force. So we have Q1 on Q2, the force of Q1 is equal to K Q1 times Q2 over R squared, and then we substitute, and the force is 3.073 times 10 to the power negative 4 equal to the K, it's 9 times 10 to the power positive 9, and the Q1. Q1 is the unknown and the Q2 the Q2 is 4 nanocoulomb so times 4 times 10 to the power nano means 9 and the distance the distance between these two I'm calculating this one it's 15 
and it's going to be 15 divided by 1000 square and then when you do the math here that means you're going to cross multiply this with this right so if you cross and multiply that one with that so I'll say in the calculator the answer that I just got times 15 over 1000 mm, 15 over 1000 square so it's gonna be fifth it's gonna be um, it's gonna be 6.915 times 10 to the power negative 8 equal to and in these two um, it's gonna be 9 times 9 to the power 9 times 4 times 10 to the power negative 9 alright and the answer is 36 it's gonna be 36 to 1 and then the answer that I got which is the 6.915 to the power 8 we divide by 36 we divide by 36 so 2 1 is equal to um, 1.92 times 10 to the power negative 9 coulomb remember now we can get the 2 3 remember 2 3 it was said is uh, 3 times uh, bigger than the charge of 2 1 and now that we have a 2 1 we're going to substitute that we're going to say 3 1 comma 9 2 times 10 to the power negative 9 and then so just times by 3 so the answer there it will be 5 comma 7 6 um, times 10 to the power negative 9 coulomb that's 2 3 right um, that's it with this question of the electrostatics I hope I make sense guys cheers bye